Okay, so here's how I'm making the aircrete at this time. I'm not doing the uh, uh, aerator. Um, I'm going ahead and made myself a... Uh, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, but a foam maker, I guess. Um, so it's, uh, it's a lot less fiddly and very quick and easy to use. So we'll use that today, and I'm going to go ahead and put on a mask so I don't breathe too much of the Portland uh, the Portland uh, cement dust. Um, and uh, let's get to it. Start with one gallon of water. This is the uh, paddle I use for mixing, and whoops, there it is, okay, there's the paddle I use for mixing. Uh, the air creed in, big, big tines. So I have two switches on this, uh, the first switch turns on the pump, when that engages then I hit the air.
Okay, so uh, I've got my about eight gallons worth of air creep. This is calculated out to where it's pretty close to eight gallons. So I'm gonna pour it in where there's a layer underneath everything, give the air bubbles a chance to come up, and then I'm gonna fill it up and try and smooth it out. So there's something not right with this batch. Um, I see a lot of bubbles that are popping. That's unusual. I'm not sure what I did wrong. It'll probably work okay. Stuff is pretty resilient, but nonetheless, that's uh, less than ideal. And the quality will be a little bit lower because of it. I'm not sure what's going on. And let me just go and fill them in best we can. This side is not as critical. and half bricks. That looks like I need to be measuring just a little more material next time. Eight gallons is not quite enough. 